GF42 set up and uh, I took a few stills but we've, we've cut most of the pieces out. I'm going to work out where those units go. They're the, uh, they've got a special name but they, they belong to the 10th second panzer or something like that so we've got to work out where they go. And then I've got all the pieces here organized by uh, setup and uh, turn and when they arrive as you can see I initially cut them all in, in independently and then as the tasks were bigger we slowed down and we just put them in, uh, in, in lots of four. And my camera, my little tablet camera seems to be uh, refocusing itself. Now the interesting thing with these counters, uh, I really like the artwork on the new information counters. Uh, they're, they're quite cool. You know, you've got, uh, you might not be able to see that accurately, but you've got little guys that are uh, shooting a gun. Uh, I can tell you that you've fired. And then when you're suppressed, you've got this, this guy ducking for cover here. And the dug-in counters make more sense to me. They're a lot more obvious, and the minefields are, well, minefields. And then you've got the smoke, actually looks like smoke this time, which is really awesome. And you've got now uh, impulse counters, and so on the other side you've got uh, two impulses. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then the pieces themselves, we've made some complaints, uh, commentary I guess, not complaints, commentary about the pieces, but I can tell you that after, uh, uh -oh, you're supposed to be somewhere, after uh, Going through the setup exercise with this, the uh, numbering on the counters and the uh, outlines and all the rest of it are really, really good. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Bloody 110 and I must admit that trying to use the Series 4 rules and all of its uh, in, you know, descriptions of where the information is and, and what each thing means is uh, much easier to do when the counters are actually colored and coded that way. So look, that's just really obvious about what we're doing here. We know we're moving and we can see how many movement points we've got and you've got your morale here and you've got your firepower and all the rest of it. So really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this set up. It's a, I wouldn't call it a monster. It's three maps, but it's large. I mean, the maps are real. I think are real pretty too. You've got the snow on the on the trees, which is cute. Uh, I just grabbed a map. You can't really tell much until it's all set up. But the room downstairs is nearly finished, and once that's finished.